Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Cool. And um, I'm one of the few uh, African American uh, Baptist clergy that's not on the down low. Um, yeah. But, but first, uh, can you hear me now? I might work right. Check one. Check. Oh, okay. Just the microphone. Um, and in many of my job positions, I've only been a Baptist pastor, but I've also worked with young people and worked in several of the colleges around and was formerly the uh, youth uh, director at the Pacific Center for Human Growth. Woo. And um, upon hearing about what happened in uh, Orlando, I thought about my club days 30 years ago Woo. And, uh, and thought about the young people in their 20s and younger uh, who would be devastated by uh, what happened. I received an email from one of my teenagers with whom I worked uh, from the time that he was in middle school and there's a lot of young people who are teenagers who want to gain access but they don't know exactly how to get there and so I, I often say I need to move, move my old butt out the way and give them a chance to to speak and and uh, so one of the teenagers who's 18 years old sent me this text message that I promised I would read for him here he's in yeah. Korea traveling with his brother um, a young Jewish young man who calls me his gay uncle, the other queer kids I'm going to introduce call me uh, Grandma. Grandma. <laughs> he wanted Oakland to hear this. He says, I'm sending my love to you all at the prayer vigil. I'm in South Korea right now with my brother exploring the country and it's very beautiful. There are rice paddies and mountains and the peace here reminds me that the world is not only filled with contempt and anger. I want to extend my gratitude to all of you for gathering and coming together while I'm so far from home. It's difficult to be far away in a country when all I want to do is give my love and hugs to each and every one of you. But I feel better knowing you're all together, gathered, united, strong. Your gathering together reminds me that an 18-year-old like me, that there is light even in the darkest dark. That's from Elazar Sontag. And I looked in the crowd and another mentee of mine, Joey, who's taught me so much about, not only about young issues, but about transgender issues and relationship to race and class. Uh, and Joey came forward and was gonna uh, uh, speak, say a couple words. And then Shauna was just hanging out here and said, I don't know how to get this because I said, come on up here. So give it up for some young people who are, As Grandma just said, my name is Joey Gonzalez Ruiz and I'm one of his mentees. Uh, I want to start this off by saying I did not know I was going to be speaking t today until like five people ago. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I remember waking up this morning just feeling very confused because I saw some messages between my friend talking about a shooting and I'm like, another shooting? So I didn't really pay attention to it until I opened up my social media and I saw Pray for Orlando and it was in rainbow colors and I realized, oh my god, is this about the LGBT community? So I started looking up what happened and I kept seeing 50 people, 50 queer people, 50 queer people of color shot in Orlando yeah. out for nothing. And I was just looking at this so angry and then one of my straight friends asked me the question, do you think it's safe for us to go to Pride today, uh, this month? And I'm just looking at them like, it's not safe for any queer person to go out anywhere. <laughs> I can't whether or not it's safe to go to Pride. I can't walk out my house without being afraid of being stabbed, without afra being afraid of being shot. Speak. I remember when I first came out and my mom telling me she was just super afraid of of what's going to happen to me and I had to look at I had to look her in her face and say that I'd be okay knowing that I've been stabbed before for being gay knowing that I've been stabbed and have had fat carved into my arm for being LGBT and I had to tell my mom that I'm gonna be okay yeah. Yeah. So do you, to 
my friend, do you really think I give a fuck about whether or not you're gonna be safe during Pride? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 